Hello, welcome to another wonderful Unity tutorial. I need to admit, I'm actually with a kind of hangover, but everyone knows that nothing heals better hangovers than a nice animation tutorial. So today we're going to talk about how we can handle Unity animation pipeline to be able to animate one little alien through an idle animation layer. And on top of that, add another animation to be able to make the alien randomly blink. We're going to use a layer system for animations, and we're also going to use animation behaviors to do the random blinking. So let's get started. So this is what we have so far. We have a little alien, and this alien has a model which does have an animator. Currently, we have the default base layer where we just defined a small animation named idle. And the only thing that it's going to do is going to be going up and down. Our objective is going to be first creating some blinkers. But these blinkers, they need to happen at the same time as our idle animation. So because we cannot transition from idle, we're going to use a mechanism which is created a new layer that is going to build over the base layer. And I'm going to name it um, blink layer. It's important that this layer is over the base one. And the blending option, it's set up to additive. So it will stack over the base one. Now that we have this blink layer, let's go ahead and we're going to create uh, a small state which is going to be default or not blinking state let's call it not blinking now we're gonna add these pre-created animations center blink left blink and right blink and we're gonna put them here now these blinkers are um, available in the animation and we can just play them. The only thing that they do is loop through a blinking. Either center one, left one, and right one. So we're gonna need some triggers so they can execute from not blinking to the blinking and go back to not blinking. So in their parameters, let's add trigger and let's add left blink. center blink and right blink. Now we're going to need some transitions from not blinking to the different blinkers. So very quickly we're going to do and create different transitions to each one of the animation steps. Make transition to the right blink and from the right blink to not blinking. And now let's set up the transitions to the actual blink. So left blinking, by default, it gives to us. We're going to add it, this one, center blink. We don't need exit time as well, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. And send the yell here, right blink. And the default transition is just fine uh, for the exit one. So once we finish with right blink, it will go back to not blinking. Let's test it out. Now we can see that we're not blinking and the moment click one of the buttons, the blinks will happen. Nice. Now, of course, we cannot just afford to be clicking this uh, animator triggers, right, by ourselves. So we're going to create a behavior that is going to trigger these different blinkers from a script. So we're going to click on not blinker. We're going to add a new behavior. Let's call it automatic blinker behavior. Just create a new script and double click on the script or maybe just a bit the script and we get this screen. Hey, it's me from the future. I apologize, but I actually lost the part of the video where I write these small variables. They are just free variables that I wrote and their purpose is to be able to parameterize 
uh, how long the trigger for the blinker is going to take and also which blinkers are we going to trigger. We want to use on a state update, which is basically is called every time update is triggered. So every time the animator is triggered. And our objective here is basically going to be, hey, it's blink timer zero, because if it is, let's go and trigger a blink. Otherwise, uh, let's just uh, decrease the timer. So if link timer is less or equal than zero, then we're gonna call a function that is gonna be blink randomize and perhaps pass the animator. And then we're gonna set up a new timer, which is going to be a random range from blink min time to max time. So we call and we set up a new a new timer, All right? Otherwise, what we want to do is just make blink timer decrease by time that delta time. So the only thing we need now is creating a public method or just a method actually that is going to be uh, blink randomize. So void blink random i uh, we're gonna pass an animator and on here what we're gonna do is we're gonna select randomly one of these links and then trigger the animator uh, with that one so system dot random rmd equals a new system dot random right int I position equals to rnd next and it's going to be blink triggers dot length which is a property not a method then we're gonna grab the blink trigger from blink triggers I position and lastly we're gonna call the animator Set trigger, link trigger. Now we need to remember to uncomment this blink randomize and save the game. Save all. Let's go and play. And if everything works, now we will have a little alien that will randomly blink eyes, one of his three eyes and see how the transitions are being made. Uh -huh. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.